Yo, what's good, everybody? What's bracken? What's popping? Yeah, we back up in the um, <clears throat> the new office. Yes, sir. So, first off, I want to say to everybody that's been watching the videos, if you like them, please go subscribe. It, it'll help a lot. We reached a goal. We are now at 54 subscribers. So, let's try to get six more people to get that up to 60. Really appreciate those that have subscribed in the past and that are still keeping up to date with the videos. Now, I know I haven't been doing a lot of reactions, but today, I, I just said, you know what? I gotta get back at it. I mean, it's fun, it's fun. So, like I said, if you're new, if you've seen the videos, go subscribe, like the videos, drop comments, and one more favor, it's a new one, turn on post notifications. So when you see me drop a video, you know. So, I've been doing like a lot of the music reactions and the music video ones. Music video ones, they're, they're cool, they're funny. You get my insight on, you know, what I hear when I listen to music. But I wanted to switch it up a bit. So, the man DDG, he did this thing where he turned his Zooted members into rappers. And if you haven't watched them, go check them out. But he took Seven and he took Lala. And he wrote a song for both of them. Now... I've seen the videos for when they both did their whole music video and everything. But then I saw Seven dropped a reaction to Lala making a song. And she was, from what I saw, it sounded like she low key was a little bit salty. Then DDD, DDG dropped a reaction to Seven's video. And he said that, I mean, he thought it was, he thought both songs were good because, I mean, clearly he wrote them. And now Lala has done a reaction to Seven's video reacting to Lala's song. So let's just jump straight to it because I want to see I want to see what's good with it. I I gotta see what in the world is is going on because I mean it's it's like funny. For me, this is funny because you wouldn't think that Seven would sound like she'd be hating on Lala doing a song and it sound like I don't know bro it ain't none of my business folk that's all I'm gonna tell you all I gotta say it is I don't wanna pause let me say how the dude said in the thing it is what it is so let's see what this thing's about man <laughs> Today, I'm going to be finally doing something that a lot of you guys have been requesting me to do. So, as you can see, I have seven on the screen. And before I get into this video, I just want to give a little premise of the situation. So, obviously, when me and DDG did the whole rap video for me, the whole original idea was, yeah, he, he was going to do it with all the Zooted members, Whatever, and he was actually gonna do it with me first. I'm gonna have, wait. That's bothering me. I gotta fix that. Hold on. Uh, I feel all that. I feel. I feel okay. Sure. Um, but I forgot what happened. Like he called me or something. I didn't answer, and then you know he did with him first. Whatever. Cool. Well, I didn't think it was like a competition kind of thing. I thought this was all for fun. I thought it was funny. Um. I actually just watched Seven's rap the other day, and I thought hers was good. It was cool. Yo, but then, that's the thing, though. Like, Seven's song was hard. Like, Seven had a harder beat. And it, this, the lyrics that he wrote for Seven, it it made more sense because it was more fitting for Seven. I mean, she, he included Taliban 6, pretty much... As much as close as you can describe Seven in a short song, he pretty much kind of did it. I saw that she reacted to mine, and I was like, um, I did watch a little bit of it, but I didn't finish the rest of the video because I was like, you know what, let me get this on camera. And then I honestly read a lot of y'all's comments, and I got a lot of personal messages, DMs, Twitter, Instagram, um, comments on my videos saying like, 
Seven's throwing shade at you. She's talking about you. Go watch her video. You mm. need to react or watch out for Seven. Mm. You know, ugh, I'm so mad that there's just mess in the background. I gotta fix that too now. I have a CD. Oh, hold on. I'm sorry. Stuff like that is personal. Did she for real just put her? her video and it's just no, like, y'all catch that? She oh, really okay, just went through like that and is personally gonna I gotta see this one more time to make sure. CD. Oh, hold on. Okay, I'm sorry. Stuff oh, like okay. that I thought she'd be working our so whole entire like, like clothes expenses. in the background. She just moved um, rooms on top to the floor. By the way, I'm in a new room. Um, this is like my beauty room, filming room, whatever. And I'm gonna do an apartment tour soon, so stay tuned for that. I'm almost finished. Um, but anyways, back to what I was saying. Yeah, so I saw that you guys were telling me to watch this, saying that she was throwing shade. And I don't know, I'm curious because I don't know if she was joking or like Seven, usually I feel like if she was joking, we're cool enough to where she would give me a heads up or something. But she didn't mention anything to me. We honestly haven't talked in a minute because last time we were supposed to film and hang out, she had to go out of town for the fourth. And then I honestly never heard from her after that. So I'm a bit confused, but we're just going to get into this. I got my hot Cheetos ready. Also, I already know I'm going to get comments about I wish you would film this in that little professional way with the, for the reaction with the little square. I asked ZDG to help me do that. The other day, I was going to go to his house to actually film this, and he wasn't home. He's trying to get that bread. So I was like, you know what? Let me just do this the way I know how. Because he already has it set up on his computer, and he told me it's really complicated. I'm going to have to download something, set it up, and if I want to edit, I have to edit both screens at the same time. It was just a lot. So I'm like, you know what? Let me just see. not hip. Ever since I took the music next, I feel really like my nose is clearing up. As you can see, my I'm starting to sound right. Oh, right. man. I'm I hope she doesn't watch this whole thing. Six, on the other hand, is getting worse. I'm gonna just fast forward this a bit. Thank God, bro. Because also, I was not gonna. So honestly, if she was gonna watch so Seven's whole video from the start, like so with I'm her talking about nothing, I'm just gonna skip it. I see his little crying thing. No cap. Here. I like Chanel Richmond. Oh, oh. Man, that's not hot. Yeah, girl, that's not hot. Yeah, I know it's not hot. Yeah, it's gonna be hard. That's the thing. I ain't gonna front though. Wawa's hook was slick, kind of catchy. Yeah, you guys are talking when I don't know. Like, no, you do it. That sounds like something some city girls would say too. Sure See like what I'm saying? He wrote her a catchy hook. Wrote her as a catchy hook. If you haven't watched my rap, go watch it. But honestly, for someone that doesn't rap, I think I did pretty good. Well, I'm not a rapper, rapper though. You can just tell. Six in the back. Um, okay, if Six likes this song, case closed. Because that's all I care about. As long as Six liked it, I'm satisfied. None, none of y'all even have to like it. As long as he liked it, I'm good. You stop dancing, first of all. I will say, DDG put a lot more effort into this than mine um it's cute that's the only thing he wrote, this, he wrote I, both songs it's cute it's like la la land is cute too it sounds like somewhere i would take my baby um <laughs> damn <laughs> um that was funny i'm gonna be honest that was funny though. yeah my song was cute i think it was very cute it was for all the um I think it was cute, and in addition, it was good. See, I mean, she didn't like, check out that. I don't know if she meant it in a shady way, but Low key. I feel like she was kind of trying to downplay me. Girl, I can be cute and good at the same time. Oh. <laughs> I'm good to um, Lala. <laughs> I mean, La La Land does sound like somewhere you would take a kid, but fun fact. DDG wrote the song, but that specific part, the beginning where I said, if you want to come to La La Land, you better come, correct? I actually came up with that whole part. See what I'm saying? So, it, sounds, it sounds like something anyways, she would say. 
This man would not add that in there. I don't know. I don't think she said anything too crazy. Um, but I agree. My song was cute. Yeah, other than that, for the people who say that it was better than mine, y'all are tripping. This is not better than mine. See, she sounds like she's hanging right there. It's cute. Like, seven, you said it was cute many times. We get it. She's throwing some liminal at you. What you cute. think? I would have probably did way more on this beat, but okay. All right, number one, that is. Cat. That's all cat. Seven had a harder beat. That beat does not fit seven whatsoever. Uh that beat seven had was hard as hell and it fit her. Like if seven's gonna do a beat, it's gonna have to be some like some street tough shit. Like that right there, no. It's too melodic for her. Seven does not look like the type that would like semi sing or go melodic on a beat that La La did. Like La La, that beat fit you. And it seems like that would be with like a la la personality, like whatever she does in her normal day to day life with modeling and all that other bull. So I don't know what you're talking about, Sam, but you wouldn't have done better on that beat. The beat you had was harder though, but both songs are good because they fit both people. Um, yeah, I don't really have nothing to say about it, it's not better than mine. Um, and at least in mine, I, the things that I was saying that actually, you know, I'm really like that, so. But you ain't right it though! Okay. I was trying to, you know, keep it cute, like you said, but, um, Seven, just because you were on Bad Girls Club does not mean you're the only one about shit. Mm. Like, y'all right, right, think, okay, so y'all don't know me in real life. I for y'all that said that I was throwing shade at her, GDG wrote that line. It was part of the song, so calm down. But, all right. Well, I can hit him with her purse. <laughs> um, stop tagging me, okay? I actually have someone, hit someone with my purse before. And if this is better than my line, because it 100% was not. Y'all are lying, and um, yeah, that's all I have to say. Stop tagging me. Just let me quarantine and chill with my kid in peace and stop disturbing me with nonsense because this is absolute nonsense. And you dancing, you're a little off. Okay. Why is she being so mean to six? She's saying so bad, bro. Yeah, like I said, it was six alone. But don't tag me no more. Don't question my rap skills versus her rap skills anymore. Okay, like I said at the beginning of this video, when I did this, I didn't, it wasn't supposed to be a competition. I feel like that's what she's trying to make it. Um, this was for fun, for entertainment. I think no one expected me to do as good as I did. Tried my best. And I'm going to pat myself on the back for that. I that's think I did do. pretty darn good. But you gotta have confidence in yourself. Yeah, I don't. I wouldn't sit here and be like, "This person is better than the other person." Of course, all of y'all have your opinions. But if we're gonna go there, um, I do think mine was a little better, only because you wouldn't expect it. Like seven, just her overall personality, personality and energy. I feel like you would expect her to do good. She has the voice for it. You know what I mean? Um, and all that. I love seven, but you wouldn't expect me because I just present myself differently. So I feel like you gotta give me some extra points for that. And I think I did a little bit better in that case. I was more right, bro. my own. So, um, in battle rapping, like I said, Hey, I know um, I skipped it, but that just I mean, made me laugh if so she's hard. she's down, I'm down. I think that would be hilarious, honestly. But let's be real. Neither of us wrote our raps. Nice. We wrote it, so it's like... Yeah, battle rapping would just be pure comedy. But let's not sit here and act like we both wrote this. Because if that was the case, I could understand... I could understand a little bit more. 
competition wise but it's like this was fun honey calm down going back to quarantining leave me alone about this video okay it is not all that all right <laughs> oh she said go tell ddg to give this beat to a real rapper Seven damn <laughs> I'm not either. I didn't even catch that at the end. Uh, oh, that wow. Was like Sam tweaking but, off that. I don't know, honestly, where this came from. I honestly thought she was being funny, which she may be, but she didn't tell me or DDG anything. And he told me he was going to, like, hit her. She didn't answer the phone for either of us. So I was like, let me just go ahead and do the reaction, because that's what y'all want. And I don't know. But... I think this video was funny too. All right, I'm gonna just stop right there, bro. The thing is, like, this is just funny. This is dead ass just funny. And y'all, y'all didn't even write the song, so I don't know why Saturn tripping. DDG doesn't even know why she's tripping, and Lala's just just confused. Hell, I, at this rate, I think everybody's just confused. But it's entertainment. It's funny. I think this is just comical. Some stop tripping. Like I said, you got the harder beat. And how you gonna say that at the end, bro? You're doing the most. It's like, all right, I'll give you an example. This man, DEG, did not even want to be a rapper to begin with, from what he said. But he just did all these little diss tracks and stuff like that, like early in his career when he started making videos and he just happened to end up start rapping like so if that doesn't tell you anything i don't know what does that's my reaction to this seven stop tripping uh and yeah subscribe turn on post notifications because i'm dropping another one another different type of reaction besides music